Well, be sure to look up tonight because the Perseid meteor shower the one that's considered to be the best one around, by the way, will peak tonight. It's known for producing a large number of meteors and fireballs, which will last longer than the average meteor. Now, the best viewing that starts off around 10 p.m. this evening. Justin Bruce, he says the sky should be clear, but of course, if you want to stay inside, you can always watch online. NASA has a live streaming starting at 6 p.m. But Justin, since you're the science guy, kind of wondering if you have any recommendations <laughs> on where to go or what people should do in order to catch the best view. You know, Cheryl Crow said it best, Kalina, when uh, she mentioned leaving Las Vegas, because if you can get away from the city lights, that's going to allow your eyes to adjust to that darkness. And that's uh, the best possible move you can make. Of course, you know, I'm not going anywhere, uh, at least not too far from bed at 10 p.m. to midnight. So I'll sort of deal with uh, deal with it and see what I can see. But yeah, the Perseids, which run from mid-July until the tail end of August, they do peak tonight. The issue, though, the moon comes up just after midnight. So that's why we're saying the best viewing is going to be between 10 p.m. and midnight. Uh, you'll be able to see a few of those shooting stars after midnight, but the moon will kind of uh, give you a little extra light in the sky. 20 meteors per hour, most likely. You may see, uh, if you read an article on the web, uh, reports of like 100 meteors per hour, but 20 per hour is what we've actually observed the last couple of nights. Uh, look northeast, look up toward the constellation Perseus, yeah, and Kalini may see a couple of shooting stars.